A report that was released earlier this year by Sustainable Development Goal Index states that SDG 13 climate action is among the best performing SDGs. Despite all the efforts that are being put in place, Africa is still struggling with air pollution. On this episode, we are going to highlight some of the challenges we face. Welcome to ASM Juice. I'm your host, Lucy Kate Ndomi. KCIC and Gatsby Africa held a commercial forestry boot camp in Nyeri with 28 beneficiaries. The boot camp was held to mainly get a deep dive into their businesses and to understand the key needs of each business. The beneficiaries will receive financial support in form of grants and loans, business advisory services, technical assistance, access to information, facilities and policy advocates that will help them grow their businesses. The businesses are expected to create employment opportunity, grow the GDP of the country and assist the Kenyan government to achieve the 10% forest in two years. A comprehensive analysis of how dirty air affects babies indicated that half a million babies lost their lives during their first month of life in 2019 as a result of air pollution. In Sub-Saharan Africa, about 80% of these deaths are attributable to household air pollution. Scientific evidence over the years has shown that women who are exposed to air pollution are more likely to give birth to babies who are born premature or with a low birth weight. A report which was produced by the United States Based Health Effects Institute and the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington says that air pollution may affect a pregnant woman, her developing fetus or both through pathways similar to those of tobacco smoking, which is a well-known risk factor for low birth weight and preterm birth. Over the years, African roads have evidently experienced heavy traffic, especially in the main cities, not forgetting how polluted our environment gets as a result of poor quality vehicles. Why is this happening? According to a UN report, millions of highly polluting used cars from rich countries are being dumped on developing nations such as Africa. The report shows that between 2015 and 2018, some 14 million older poor quality vehicles were exported from Europe, Japan and the US with 4 out of 5 being sold to poorer countries. More than half were sold to Africa. Experts say that up to 80% failed to meet the minimum safety and environmental standards in exporting countries. The report says that both exporters and importers need to put tougher regulations in place to stem the flow of these cars. Environmentalists have raised the red flag of a silent death trap inside the walls of poor households in the villages. Household air pollution claims over 21,500 lives each year in Kenya, according to the Clean Cooking Study report. Kenya Climate Working Group estimates that the extreme daily inhaling of the indoor smoke is equivalent to smoking 40 sticks of cigarettes, which happens while cooking and lighting using firewood, kerosene and even plastics. According to the chairman, John Kioli, government efforts should be directed towards offering this lower end segment of the population cleaner energy alternatives. This is because the high costs of cleaner alternatives like cooking gas, also known as liquefied petroleum gas, have long locked out poor homes. Ending on a positive note, Clean Air KE, one of the startup companies that was part of the Kenya Climate Launchpad Finals, which was coordinated by Kenya Climate Innovation Center, are developing an outdoor machine which will be used in purifying the pollutants in the air. With only 10 years remaining to meet the 2030 Sustainable Development Goal, Rwanda is the first African country to submit a tougher climate target to the UN, promising to cut carbon emissions at least by 16% by 2030. We appreciate your time for checking our updates. Please subscribe to our channel and also find us as Africa Sustainability Matters across all social media platforms. I have been your host, Lucy Kate Ndomi.